Hi there, my name is Sonia Ortiz, and if you're watching, you can cook. Today I'm going to show you how to make Day of the Dead bread. Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico is a very old tradition uh, in which we honor those who have passed before us. And we honor them a lot by making the food they liked. And this Day of the Dead bread is made around that time, usually uh, in November. And it's a very simple, easy recipe, and I'm going to show you how to make. Let me tell you what we need. To make the bread, we need three and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, three quarter cups of sugar, one and one quarter fresh yeast, two oranges, we're going to use the zest and also the juice, two eggs, half a teaspoon of orange blossom flavoring, and one teaspoon of orange flavoring, one cup of butter. You will require some parchment paper to cover your tray, and you'll need to apply some shortening on top of that. For the decoration, we're going to use half a cup of melted butter and one and a half cups of sugar. That's all we need, so let's get cooking. First of all, make a volcano with the flour on the table. Put the sugar, salt, orange blossom extract, yeast, butter cut into small cubes, and eggs in the center of the volcano. Incorporate with the tips of your fingers. Add two tablespoons of orange zest, half a cup of the orange juice, and orange extract. Integrate with your hands until you obtain a uniform dough. Continue working the dough until it's easy comes off the table and it's not sticky anymore. This can take 20 to 40 minutes. If it's still sticky after 20 minutes, you can add a little more flour. Put the dough inside a bowl greased with oil, cover with a wet rag and let sit in a warm place until it doubles its size, approximately one hour. Divide the dough into eight equal portions. Cut one fourth of each portion to make the decorations and save. Work the rest of the portions rolling into balls. Put the balls over a cookie tray covered with parchment paper greased with shortening to prevent them from sticking to the tray. Lightly press the balls. Take each of the parts you saved for the decorations and roll into a long stick. Fold each in half and cut a little ball from the fold and save. Take the two sticks and roll with your hands, pressing with your fingers as you move back and forth to create little bad bones. Put the two strips of bad bones crossed with each other over the bowl of dough and put the little ball on top using a little water to make it stick. Let them sit covered with a rag for 30 minutes. Bake in preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit 175 Celsius for 30 minutes or until golden brown. Remove from the oven and let cool. Varnish with melted butter and sprinkle with sugar to decorate. See how easy it is to make this Day of the Dead bread? You can make big ones or small ones depending on what you like. Let me try it. Nothing like home baked bread. I hope you like this recipe and make it at home. And also share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to You Can Cook, where we publish one video per week. Click on the bell to receive notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. See you next time.